Oh, this one's good. It works, yeah. Okay, guys, so this was, this was really awesome. There were a lot of really great projects. It was very difficult for us to kind of narrow it down. Um, I think that we did, and can you hold this for a sec? Sorry. I've got paper everywhere. Um, okay, so I'm going to announce the winner for hardware. Um, so, again, really great projects, but we ultimately thought that like the best application uh, for hardware was um, ISSI and their uh, augmented reality game that used HoloLens. Uh, we, were, we were blown away with that. So congratulations, guys. It's really great. Yeah, yeah. I do want a t-shirt. Get me a t-shirt. Okay, yeah, I, I think that's a pretty uh, accurate summation that, uh, you know, I, I think halfway, like two or three uh, presentations in, we looked at each other and said, uh, oh, shoot, these are all really good. Wow, are we going to choose between them? Um, but, you know, we, we were able to narrow it down a little bit. Uh, and so for best mission concept, we have the Smoky Bears. And they're, uh, yeah. So that's for their, uh, their fire rescue emergency management uh, tool. And for most inspirational hack, uh, will you die with their flight pattern analysis? Uh, I'm not going to pull an Oscars here. We actually know <laughs> which, who we know who won what. Uh, so for Galactic Impact, uh, Wildlife Go. Okay. And for the uh, thank you. For the last uh, of the five categories, best use of data, unified search. Okay. So now uh, I'll turn over to, to Shabana for our final uh, uh, two best of show projects uh, that will be going on for global judging and uh, our people's choice. Thank you. Um, I just want to say on behalf of NASA, we are so extremely proud of this program and the amazing participation here at New York City. I loved all the challenges. If you don't hear your name being called out today, but still, if you continue to work on your project, please, please, please reach out to us. We'd love to share your story about what are the next steps and what you're doing on our blog and love to help you with any kind of resources that you need, you know, connect you with people if we can. So do, do not stop here. The main idea for this program is to inspire you to like make your own ideas and take them and, and build something great with it. So, so I love that SAP has been so generous in saying come back here and work even more if you want. I mean, come on, you can't get more inspired than by looking at the windows. This is fabulous. So thank you so much to everybody involved in the program. Thank you to the New York City Space Apps team. And, and I really, really hope that you continue to, to work on these amazing ideas together. So. Um, I'll do the two, two teams that are going to, near, uh, to uh, the NASA Global Challenge Competition. And we're really, really excited to say New York City is going to be represented by WasteNot and Proxima. So <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you want to do the people's choice? Yeah. yeah. And so um, just finally, real quick, for the people's choice, uh, we were all taken away by how cute these were. Terror beasts. Yeah. So, and as as an additional note, Terror beasts also is going to be a global contender as well because they will be competing with all the other People's Choice awards. So that's the, our third global judging. So, congratulations. All right, thank you everyone. Now I'd like to introduce uh, Clarify, one of our sponsors who will be giving away the uh, Clarify Award. Hey guys, so there was a lot of really good AI Clarify hacks this weekend, and this was a tough choice to make. Um, we had a bunch of great ones, Alert, Smoky Bear, Wildlife, uh, Terror Beasts, um, Frontierless, um, but at the end of the day, we had to go with the best one, and um, we thought that was uh, Terror Beast. Congratulations, you get the Clarify hack. I'll meet you guys there. <laughs> All right, thank you. Hey, Jeff, can I interrupt for just one? Yes, go ahead. Sorry. We just have some live updates from our, our uh, mission control here. And um, 
just to let you know, this hackathon is the largest hackathon we've had in Space Apps history. We had over 24,000 people register, and uh, our tweets and all our engagement over Twitter and Instagram reached 40 million people around the world. So that's what you're a part of. Congratulations, everyone. And we're, we're live on Facebook right now, so let's make some noise. Let's Amazing. On that note, uh, I would just want to give a few thanks to everybody who was involved this year. Um, at first, I would love to thank NASA and Second Muse for putting this together and getting the huge impact around the world that we've seen this year especially, but for all six years that we've had uh, running its uh, Space Apps Challenge. Uh, I also want to thank our sponsors, uh, AWS, Clarify, Empire Space Labs, uh, Kimi, Radix uh, for our live stream sponsor, uh, Socrata, Twilio, and Make School. Uh, if you can give them all a big round of applause, we really appreciate them coming out tonight. I also want to give a big thanks to SAP and NextGen. Uh, we really love this space. Uh, it was an incredible journey working with you guys to get this up and running, uh, get it furnished, and get people in. Uh, we really loved working with you guys, and I know that you all tired from uh, putting on all these events all week, uh, so are we, uh, but we really loved working with you. Uh, we also like to thank Internet Society for uh, uh, sponsoring the uh, and running the live stream. Uh, we'd like to thank Science Partnership Fund uh, uh, financial backers, uh, Intel for donating the uh, Intel Edisons, and uh, Spark Fund for the uh, inventor kits that you guys may have used uh, throughout the weekend. Uh, Soylent for uh, all the donations. I know you guys really love those. Uh, National Space Society, Women's Sphere, and Girls in Tech uh, for partnering with us on all of our, all of our events. Um, and I'd also just love to thank our uh, volunteers and our organizers. Uh, this has been a very hectic uh, few months organizing, a lot of nights and weekends. We're all volunteers, none of us get paid to do this, and uh, it's just been very stressful for everybody. Um, I really appreciate everybody because uh, I, I, I feel like I can rely on all of them to just keep this thing going, and I don't have to really worry about any of the details. I, I, Okay, yeah, I'm getting to, <laughs> thank you. Uh, so I'd love to thank Robert for keeping me focused. Uh, <laughs> this is, yeah, but, right now? I'd like to bring all the organizers up here right now and thank them individually. So I, all the organizers, come up here, please. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to thank Robert, Hackathon sponsor. We've got Camera, Alicia, Dominique, Will, Andrew. There we go, let's get a photo here. <laughs> Quick photo. Where's Pepper? <laughs> <laughs> She's nothing. Yeah, got yeah. it, okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yes, okay. Thank you all, thank you so much. Uh, I, we really, I thank you so much. <laughs> um, I would also like to thank uh, Joey for the live stream, uh, Mike Caprio for all the, the advice you've given me, uh, and uh, Ryan and Chris from Levin and Reiner, uh, who are the amazing agency that uh, rebranded us, uh, all the logos and stickers you've seen around the space. Uh, and if anyone would like to, <laughs> that's, thank you. And if anyone would like to volunteer, become an organizer, uh, we would love to have you please reach out to us either through email on our website or come chat with us uh, after the event. Uh, and last but not least, I would like to thank all of you hackers for coming out. Uh, this is a great event and this is really what makes it possible is everybody coming in and collaborating and creating all these amazing projects. Uh, it's really the motivation that I think keeps all of the organizers going uh, for so many months and uh, it's why we keep coming back. So I'd like to thank all of you. All right, so last thing before we all head out, I'd like to invite everybody up for a large group photo. Uh, so if everybody can come up here. Can I just make it to uh, because yeah. Because our photographer is here. Right. He could stand on something and they could stay there. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm just worried, yeah. All right, guys, so he's. Hold on a second. Wait, so Stand he's where you're at. All right, so we're hanging out over here by the chairs, just large. What branding is over there? Okay, okay do it. No, do it. Is this the best angle you can do? That's fine. Do you think it's the best angle out that way? Or if we can get everybody here, will it be wide enough to get the signs? Whatever it is, if everybody is here, it's going to be hard, you think, to get everybody in this time? You can try. All right, we're over here.
Yeah. All right, everybody on stage. Let's go. Everybody on the stage. Are you ready to problem solve at Space Apps? Are you ready to problem solve at Space Apps? We will make our planet better by uniting and solving problems that it needs. We will make our planet better by looking at the NASA data sets and finding solutions to some of the challenges we are facing here on Earth. We will make our planet better by coming together to explore, create, and innovate. The world needs your ideas. The world needs your ideas. Bring your ideas, skills, creativity, and imagination. Let's have fun. Watch out. Space apps can change your life. Welcome to Space Apps Church. See you there. <laughs>